Hi everyone, hope you're well. I'm going to start with two intuitive messages for the coming week. First one is the word surrender. So surrender in this case doesn't mean giving up or giving in. What it means is to stop putting excess mental energy into something. So this situation will resolve itself in the right way, whether this week you spend hours thinking about it or not. So the advice is just try and let go of it for a little while. Relax, put your mind and energy on other things if you can, and trust that things will develop around this situation in the right way, according to the karma around the situation. Okay, so <clears throat> second message is vindication. So in your dealings with other people this week, if someone has been unfair to you or bullied you or treated you badly somehow, take a step back, allow them to keep pushing it and overstep the mark and then fall on their sword themselves without you having to do anything. Um, <clears throat> if you get involved in their control dramas, they will drain your energy. So just stay very serene, smile, glide through the week, just take one thing at a time and maintain your psychic protection. And then their negative energy will just bounce off you and deflect back onto them. Um, they will destroy themselves. You don't need to get involved in that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to say is you don't need to internalize anything negative that other people say. So protect yourself from other people's words as well. Um, it's a bit of energy, vampire energy. So psychic protection, remember, can be surrounding yourself with white light, visualize <clears throat> diamond dust in it, surround yourself with a crystal shell, um, just visualize clearing your energy like a net dragging away any um, dark or bad energy and then just releasing it to the earth to transmute it um, or any other visualization that helps you. Okay, looking at the moon this week, because one of the messages I gave last week for the July and August forecast was to really pay attention to the cycles of the moon this month. So we've got full moon in Capricorn, and that's at 7.38 p.m. on the 13th of July in the UK. This is a supermoon, and actually it's the um, closest supermoon to the Earth this year. So I'm feeling it already. It's going to be very powerful and it's really going to be like a spotlight on a lot of the issues I've been talking about. Um, so yeah, at that time, just see what it brings up and see what intuitive messages and guidance you get from the full moon. Okay, let's move on to the cards. So <clears throat> I pulled out these three, the devil and the six of swords came out together. So the devil represents obstacles and challenges and six of swords represents turning away, walking away from troubles and battles, like I was saying at the beginning of the video. So again, it's that message of not engaging when you're provoked by someone or even threatened this week, just turn away. The person represented by the devil or the situation only has power if you give it to them by engaging in their drama. So just remove yourself from that situation. And then we got the page of wands, <clears throat> excuse me, which is a really positive message. This can represent good news. And um, page of wand also represents being safe free and hopeful about the future and that's represented by the new growth of leaves on the wand um so yeah this will be what the full moon this week is bringing up and shining a light on crystals i've got are the moonstone for full moon under the page of wands which has a very soothing energy and then i've got two clear quartz for clarity of thought under the other cards so that is for um representing your inner light it's saying that to remember that your inner light can deflect and block out any darkness around you this week and protect you from it okay i'm going to post a song link as well it's called surrender and it's from sunset boulevard the musical so you may want to listen to that i think the lyrics have some nice messages in them okay 
Have a good week, everyone. Thank you for listening and I'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.